Executive Director of Development at the Humane Society for South Washington. Um, I am responsible for a lot of our um, ongoing annual fundraising efforts, um, including our monthly donors and our direct mail and annual givers. So together um, at the Humane Society, together with our community, um, we are creating a community where every animal is cared for and loved. And that's everything from adopting out animals. We also help with say neuter programming um, with our feral cats in our community, including wellness clinics for our um, homeless and population and vaccination clinics as well. Always had a strong um, interest in the nonprofit space and even coming out of high school and going into um, college for the first time, I wanted to I wanted to be working in nonprofit. And I, after college, I worked in a lot of small, um, really small organizations, part-time here and part-time there. And when the recession hit, I just kept thinking about how all of these organizations were closing. And I wanted to be the one to, to make a difference. So around that same time frame is when I saw the program at the University of Portland. And I saw um, the scholarship that Nancy Bryant and her family had put forward. And I thought, maybe this is my chance. And I was, at the time I was working multiple part-time jobs and um, in a restaurant. So I thought this is going to be, this is going to be good. This is where I want to be. That has been such a game changer for me. Um, immediately upon graduation, I ended up getting a, being able to get a full-time um, job as a development associate. And uh, from there was able to just grow through the, through that, my own role um, in the fundraising department at um, Portland Art Museum. I to do a really deep dive into fundraising and development and all of the things that make up major gift fundraising and annual operating fundraising and, and capital campaign fundraising and it's, I love it and I wouldn't be here had I not attended the University of Portland and gotten that degree. Being in the program and learning how to network. Networking is such a broad term and it's not just sending an email to someone and saying, hey, do you know this? Can you get me into this? If you don't have a relationship with the person, then the chances are that that email is gonna go unread or unresponded to. And so one of the big things about being in that program, like I, I learned how to network. I learned how to have relationships with people and follow up um, and to create a business relationship or a professional relationship, not just the friendship style relationships that I had in the past. Um, so it's been my first opportunity at having more of a career style network of individuals among the cohort as a whole. I had a very limited um, perception of what nonprofit work was, having only worked in small struggling organizations at that point. I think it's important to think about what you are trying to learn, like what you know, already know from your education or your professional experiences and where you want to be. And so what, what specific tools are you trying to walk away with? And is the University of Portland the place that you can learn those skills? So this is Josie. She is um, she's from the Humane Society for Southwest Washington. She came in on a transport last summer from an overpopulated area. And when she got off the transport, um, I fell in love with her. But I had gone out to see, being new to animal welfare, I didn't know what that meant for accepting a transport of animals. And uh, so it was very interesting to come out and see all of these volunteers unloading kennels and crates with a bunch of animals that had come to the Pacific Northwest to find homes. There's more people in the Pacific Northwest that want to adopt animals than there are animals, so we are able to take them from other places. 
go to hssw.org slash adopt. Um, there is a lot of animals that's up for adoption on our website. They're viewable through the webpage. Um, we have cats, dogs, and rabbits available. Um, and there's lots of resources right there on our website for trying to kind of figure out what kind of animal might be the best fit for you. Everyone, it's been years since we've gotten together in person or that I've been able to, to make it out to see everyone. So I hope I can see you all soon.